Hey YouTube, Brett's iPod Help here, and today I'm going to show you how to enable multi-touch gestures on an iPod Touch 4th generation running iOS 4.3.1 or 4.3. So the reason why I'm doing this just for the iPod Touch 4th generation is because I have not played with the iPhone 4 or the iPad and how to enable multi-touch gestures for them and if I tell you how to do it without actually doing it myself I could possibly screw you over and um, so I've only done it for the iPod Touch 4th generation and I know it works so that's why I'm showing you how to enable it for your iPod Touch 4th generation running iOS 4.3 or 4.3.1 um, so to actually do this you're going to need to have SSH enabled for your iDevice if you do not have it enabled I'm going to give you just some quick little instructions on how to do it so all you need to do is just go to Cydia and install open SSH and uh, it's all one word just install and confirm and once that is done all you need to do is just download WinSCP or the Mac version I can't remember what it is I'll have a link on the or on the screen somewhere annotation on the screen as to what it is um, but you're just gonna have to install that and then once that's installed and everything's all good go to settings on your iPod and then go to Wi-Fi go to Wi-Fi and then hit the little blue button and it should uh, show you like the IP address and everything then you're gonna have to open up your SSH client on your computer WinSCP or whatever it is for Mac and then enter in your IP address that you see on your iPod touch then go to um, your username enter in root and it's lowercase password alpine again lowercase save it and then hit log in so if you didn't even get any of that you can just search on YouTube how to enable SSH and you can also do that for Google too so that's if you didn't get what I just said so um, anyways that really long instructional rant uh, moving on to how to enable it so I got WinSCP right here just open it up make sure your devices are connected to the internet and click login so let's do it let it do its magic and then you should get this just go all the way back to the little dash right here and then um, you're going to go to system library and then it should go to core services and then springboard.app and right now uh, there's a little link down in the description below as to how to download a uh, four P lists which you're going to be needing to copy over to your uh, some specific files or folders that I'm about to show you so for this one you're going to be needing uh, n81ap so you can just go down here I have mine right here but before you do that I want you to locate it on the in this folder so just go all the way down to the ends I think I passed it there you go uh, n81ap.plist what I want you to do is actually back this up so you're gonna hit uh, uh, right click and then click copy and then just copy it to a folder wherever you want make sure you can find it just in case something goes wrong and you can just replace it with the good um, plist because the plist that you have downloaded is a modified version um, so that just back it up just in case uh, so once you've actually copied it over just do this click copy and then yes to all let it copy over and then that's all you need to do for this folder so then just go all the way back to the dash right here and then hit applications and then go scroll down to you see preferences dot app and then from here I got uh, two more plists that you're gonna have to transfer again you're gonna have to back these up so just find general so it should be right here again copy it to the same folder or wherever you put the first one so again right click copy and then copy it over I've already done it myself uh, then just go to uh, settings find that one too so it should be right here settings.plist and then copy that over again and then once you've copied both those over um, go find your plist that you have downloaded so settings and then general so uh, control click both of those and then just copy them over so copy and then yes to all let that copy over and that's done just one more thing you're gonna have to copy over again go back to the dash you're gonna have to click var and then you're gonna find mobile so right here then you're gonna hit library 
and then again preferences from here this is the com dot apple uh, what you're going to want to do is find what is it com dot apple dot s uh, dot springboard so find that uh, springboard here it is so what I want you to do again just copy this over to where you put the others and then once you've done that select the com dot apple dot springboard and then copy this over copy yes to all and there you go that's all you need to do for copying this over once you've done that all you need to do is just restart your device and if for some reason uh, some of your jailbroken packages don't work you're gonna have to probably uh, reinstall them if they do not work um, if you have any bugs or issues or anything you can just leave a comment down below and actually just to prove to you that it works I'm gonna go to my camera and show you that it works properly okay so I've gone ahead and I have restarted my device and once you have restarted your device and it has booted up just go to settings and you should see multi touch or multitasking gestures up at the top so you're gonna have to enable that and then after that I advise you actually restart again or at least respring but I advise you restore just in case there might be some little issues and so after that you should be able to have multitasking gestures so I'm gonna demonstrate with four fingers you can do this with five if you want but for a screen that's 3.5 inches um, in diameter uh, 4 is still kinda big but is better than 5 so let's do this so there you go, use my four fingers try that again so then I'm gonna open up an application and let's actually try app switching try to do this there you go sort of works. Let's bring it down here, maybe better traction. Ah, my device is locked. Okay. Um, let's try another thing. Let's try closing an application. So with four fingers. Nope. Uh, Take some time to get used to it. There you go. So let's do that again. There you go, I've closed it with four fingers. So that's a, just a brief demonstration that this thing actually works. Again, it takes some time to get used to. I've only had it for like five minutes um, before I actually started filming. So um, again, if you have anything that happens to be going wrong, all you need to do is just replace your P-lists with the ones that you've backed up the same way that I have showed you of how to replace it with the modified p-lists so I definitely definitely recommend that you do back up your p-lists you, or else you're gonna have to face a restore then a re-jailbreak so you definitely don't want that and again if you have any city packages that were installed that don't work like in my case uh, gridlock um, has stopped working for me after I have done the multitasking gestures so I did restart it and I just or re um, reinstall it so I'm gonna to have to rearrange all my icons again because it does replace your springboard application so anything that affects your springboard um, that is now needing to be reinstalled so keep that in mind uh, again just um, be sure to back up your p-lists and if you have any further questions please leave them in the comment section below um, also like it up it del does help me out a lot and if you like these type of videos and anything else iOS E um, you can just hit the subscribe button and uh, yeah without any further ado have fun with your multitasking gestures and I'll see you in the next video peace